What's up guys, this is your boy, the Average Game Online here over here, back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile, and in this video, we are going to look at facing the worst boss in on Ice Solo Raid, and this is basically Boss Gorilla Grodd. Oh goodness guys, he has critical immunity, he has lethal immunity, he has shield, basically he has everything going for him. I mean, this is the most ridiculous boss, and we do not have, you know, attack stacking from the artifacts as well which makes it even more difficult so here i am starting off the battle with a different team i'm using batman who laughs as well as the justice league team so the idea here is to use batman who laughs sp2 to you know put the sunder debuff and once that sunder debuff is there basically gorilla grod will not be able to use his shield and also i have the dark metal cards artifact equipped on batman who laughs because that kind of grants you a chance to do a critical hit remember he's crit immune he's not you know crit resistant if he was crit resistant you can do all the time critical attacks but with critical immunity there is 70 percent chance at this point of time you need to have a dark metal cards artifact at level 10 to do the damage and here i am trying to do some basic hits to you know uh, trigger the percentage reduction in health which is going fine i mean uh, it's okay it's nothing uh, like special but the end objective here is to do basic attack hits so that's why i am doing here i am refreshing the sunder debuff as you can see the sunder debuff is there now tagging in cyborg and doing an sp2 so that sp2 didn't crit as you could see here and he starts blocking the combo interruption is pretty difficult with gorilla grod here this is silver gorilla grod the ai is slightly different than batman ninja gorilla grod though so i mean batman ninja gorilla grod i feel is a bit easier and i think probably they have even buffed the ai i don't know like uh, i may be wrong here but uh, they might have buffed the ai for the boss here so it's pretty difficult to do the combo interruption here i started try trying to do it and i failed and look at that, he, he's blocking out of the blues literally and nothing works. Man, nothing works and he's ready with the super move. 20,000 damage as well. Man, I just refreshed the Sunder debuff and I'm out of the critical attack zone. Now you can see here guys, once I'm out of the critical attack zone, it's literally nothing damage that I'm doing. And I had the Norris Snow Globe artifact on Justice League Cyborg. That's why, like, I was getting that, uh, like, health returned after every special. Here I am, again, trying to do some damage with Batman Who Laughs. But uh, the main damage dealer is technically Justice League Cyborg and Justice League Flash. Though I'm not using Flash at all here. Uh, because I have the Norris Snow Globe on uh, Justice League Cyborg. Tagging in Batman who laughs again, doing an SP2 to keep the Sunder debuff and transforming again and look at that. It's 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 bad guys. I'm trying to hit and he's literally not allowing me to hit. Whatever I'm trying to do, a right swipe, a tap, a tag, look I, I am cornered at this point of time. Man, it's ridiculous. And he's stun uh not he's not stun immune, he's uh, like that critical immunity and lethal immunity just uh you know it's just too irritating. And as you can see here guys i'm not doing literally any damage and this is just tier 3 in heroic 2 imagine this is just heroic 2 imagine him in the higher heroics it, it's gonna be a huge pain it's gonna be a huge pain only 17 million damage definitely the worst boss and the most difficult boss in this particular solo raid so move on, moving on uh, let's move on to the next pip here the next pip is pretty easy it's against boss red hood and i have batman ninja catwoman team here with the bat ranks on batman ninja catwoman and here i was also facing some issues so the issues here were like i didn't want to try you know beta club because beta club makes things too easy i just wanted to try the bat rank and see uh, whether i'm able to one shot it or not it was a risk i was willing to take but i knew you know i can do some good amount of damage with the bat ranks as well so here doing the super move and i started the combo he missed as well and then he did a special i don't know guys is is it me playing completely trash or is it just update having such issues because i've never faced such issues before though like i have started already a combo and the opponent is doing a special man it's ridiculous all right so finally managed to corner him and okay rest in peace again so we are doing again a cornering and here 
the difference between the play of the beta club and the play of the bat ranks is like you need to do sp2 continuously because that will help in stacking up the lethal attack damage whereas the beta club dot itself can help up in stacking up the lethal attack damage so i missed the combo interruption again and uh, it's going bad guys like it's almost uh, like a uh, half minute mark half a minute uh, half a minute or what like half time of the match is kind of left almost and i'm not even at half health so i i was panicking here at this point of time but uh, managed to you know pull it off and here i am able to do the combo interruption we are getting some decent damage with the basic attack hits because of the battering effect doing an sp2 to keep the lethal stacks alive and here we are again trying to corner him this arena is okay this arena is not that uh, long it's not that short either uh, because uh, like i always feel like i keep mentioning this over and over again because if the arena is very long it's it's very very irritating guys to corner the opponent it gets very very difficult as well so we are almost at the one minute mark and it's it's, it's just a repetition of the sp3s and sp2s and boom a mine <laughs> exploded as uh, the irritating thing here could be if the mine is exploding and uh, you are you know falling back that kind of loses you time as well as uh, damage as well but we managed to pull it back we managed to pull it back here and again a mine again a mine i think i have missed combo interruption at least six to seven times here i lost the count literally pretty bad gameplay i would say or i don't know because he's doing a special while we are trying to do a combo interruption maybe it's an issue with the ai with the new updated ai so pretty easy 64 million here in heroic 2 so okay let's move on to the next one so we have boss robin here i stuck with very standard team here so i'm not gonna go over this uh, gameplay fully because i think it could be a bit boring so I went with King of Atlantis Aquaman and Father Box on Doctor Fate and Shazam as well. So I can do an infinite combo and the All Blades on King of Atlantis Aquaman. So you can see here, like I have started off the battle doing an SP2. It's like standard stuff where I do an SP2 and, you know, uh, start off with stacking off the King of Atlantis Aquaman boost. And here I am doing an infinite combo and waiting for the power bars to fill up so that I can tag in King of Atlantis Aquaman and do uh sp3 so it's a standard gameplay here i could have used the dark metal cards artifact as well because that would kind of guarantee me crits uh but it's okay i mean i do have some decent at amount of critical attack chance on king of atlantis aquaman as well so with that being said let's move on to the final part i was able to one shot i mean no hiccups here a pretty standard gameplay just uh, doing the combo and then finally finishing off with almost uh, 30 seconds to go doing a final combo here so that i can do the super move because the super move would knock him out and 40 hits 4 million 4.6 million damage and boss robin is down so we have three final pips to go for this solo raids i'm very very glad that this solo raid is gonna end guys it's horrendous it's 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 very bad guys it's very bad the artifacts do not stack the attack <sighs> it's just too bad all right so i will have to take down gorilla grod as well as uh, sub-zero i guess i would be able to do that hopefully but gorilla grod is definitely the most painful boss in on ice solo raids but uh hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you haven't done already this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here signing off you guys take care and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace